This is Barney, and this is what he sounded like. Barney stands for inclusion, acceptance. You should love everyone. We all have Cheryl Leach to thank for that. As her love character was heading into the stratosphere, people couldn't accept that this was just a show. And, and so let the bashing begin. A target of hate. I still can't I believe know. this. So that was a snippet of the new docuseries. <laughs> I love you, you hate me. Yeah, it's all about the beloved children's character, Barney, and how he spurred mm -hmm. a phenomenon of hate. This docuseries tells the backstory of this odd scenario, but here to share more, we actually have the director of the docuseries, Tommy Avaloni. Thank you so much for joining us today, Tommy. Thanks for having me. This hurts my heart. I know. I was a huge Barney fan, Krista too. I, like, what is the backstory? I only know the happy side of Barney. <laughs> Well, that's that's good, good for you. <laughs> you know, I mean, the, the thing is, the, the the kids who Barney was created for love Barney. Mm -hmm. But at a certain age, and I'd, I'd be curious for you, was there a certain time where you felt like you needed to say you didn't like Barney anymore to fit in because you were like getting older? I can remember that, especially with kids that were yeah older than me, and you wanted to be cool like them. Mm. Yeah, so it's the first thing you kind of learn to hate to fit in. So it, that was kind of the case where it was like, you know, you have Sesame Street where it's for children, but Barney was such a targeted youth uh, audience that, you know, once you hit four or five, you had to, like, not like Barney to be cool. I started reading, like, it, there was rumors about that he would hide drugs in his tail. Yes. They would get so much hate mail. He was named after a serial killer. And, I mean, it's just the rumors that just kept going and going. Yeah, there's something about, like, when something is so innocent, we feel the need to, like, break it down. Like, even with Mr. Mm -hmm. Rogers, they said, like, mm -hmm. you know, he was in the the war and would shoot people and had tattoos. Steve from Blue's Clues died of a heroin overdose. So there's always something about these urban legends for mm -hmm. kids show characters. I mean, if you played the Barney theme song backwards, it was satanic. It, this stuff is crazy. And we explore like why we as a culture feel the need to do that sort of thing. Here's the thing from the trailer that I'm also like, there was a quote that said, I don't think you could ever think somebody would go and shoot someone over this, over Barney. Is that, does that happen? Well, I mean, it's kind of one of those situations where once we talk about the shooting, you're very, like, surprised by what happens. It is something that's a delicate conversation, so you, know, you kind of have to watch the docuseries to find out. Hmm. But uh, once we we didn't know that one going into it, and that was, uh, it was interesting. Wow. Well, so you talk about how we think about just the positive side of things, and as mm -hmm. you start to hear people talk about how P Barney infiltrated their home essentially i mean there was one dad that said he came home and he was jealous because his daughter was so glued to the tv and like jealous that she only wanted to see barney and not huh. see him i mean it all starts to make sense we see that with a lot of kids shows now you got baby shark you got frozen mm -hmm. all these things that the kids are so attached to but he, barney still brought so much joy yes. to people and and that's what we really dive into is the joy that barney uh brought to all these kids and the role he played. Like, you know, I was too old for Barney, but you know, my Barney would have been Cookie Monster and I love mm -hmm. Cookie Monster and yeah. Cookie Monster plays a special role in my heart because he was like that first friend. He wasn't someone I was introduced to through my parents. It was someone that I saw on television and I decided to like, you know, so Barney, there, was, there wasn't anything bad about Barney. It was just a reaction to that. Like when the parent who made the I Hate Barney Secret Society, we explore like, mm -hmm. well, where does he come from? You could totally see like a guy like that who he was just jealous. You know, he was upset that he thought this character was stealing love from her from his daughter. You know, it's wow. it's just these are some of the interviews we talk uh, we show in the movie. So my daughter's one and Barney songs will come on. We're always playing music and I sing her Barney songs and I hope this won't change that, right? Like I can still love Barney and share it with my daughter. <laughs> oh, totally. I think you'll love Barney even more after watching this, good. you know? Good. I mean, my my daughter's two now, but like when we were when we were making this, she was she was younger, obviously, uh, one, and it was amazing for me to put Barney on and watch her be like glued to it. There's something about Barney that's so magical. She was crying on the phone. I was talking to Dean Went, he's one of the voices of Barney. 
And she was just crying. And Dean got into the Barney voice and sang, I love you, you love me. And she just, like, stopped. Aww. So there is something very magical in Barney. And even though there were a lot of people who trashed it, we respect the fact that this character has done so many good things. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I love that story. What yeah. a sweet story. And the song. We can never forget yes. the song. Tommy, thank you so much, and congratulations on the docuseries. You thank you so much. Absolutely. You can catch the two-part docuseries on Peacock starting tomorrow, Wednesday, October 12th. Oh, we'll be watching that. We'll be talking about that on oh, Thursday no. morning.